Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be doing a video that I'm going to title Market Watch, and it's going to be a series on the channel. I think it's going to be a very beneficial series to the viewer because it's going to be able to update my opinions on some of the investments that I talk about, and it's also going to analyze the overall health of the market and what direction the market is going in, given specific factors that we're going to talk about in the series. So if you guys do want to go ahead and leave me a like on this video and show me that you do want more of this type of content, be sure to go do that right now. And also, of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. But wait, if you want to go ahead and get any of the skins that I talked about in this video for cheap prices and become a very efficient investor by buying prices of skins at low areas, then go ahead and check out my skin bay link in the description below. It's going to be a great site, great third party marketplace with a beautiful UI that you can go ahead and buy all of these market watch skins and go ahead and become one of the best investors yourself. So with that being said, guys, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for using my link if you choose to, and let's get straight into this video. So of course, let's go ahead and start with one of the most prominent things happening on the market right now, and that is the Shattered Web Investments. So Shattered Web Investments are going to include pretty much anything from the Shattered Web operation. This even includes cases and the case skins, because we don't really know what's going to happen with them, but at the current rate, it looks like those cases are just going to be discontinued and are going to spike up in price after the operation. Currently, we don't know if they're going to release the case into the drop pool, or if they're just going to go ahead and keep it as the Battle Pass exclusive. So we don't really know how that's going to react, but I could see something like the Hydra case where all the skins become pre-inflated. Some of the front runners in terms of investing from these collections include the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr, which has been doing pretty good actually recently. It went up to a peak of $100 and then equalized back down at around the $85 range. It did dip as low as $77 at one point, but it quickly rose back up to around the $85 range. So we are seeing sort of an equalization at the current quantity for the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr. If you want to go ahead and buy into this, I would say it's still a good option even though it is so expensive, especially if you get it from something like a trade-up, because I think these skins are just going to go even higher and to absolutely crazy prices after the operation ends. Speaking of the operation ending, we do have a confirmation that we will have four more weeks to finish the missions. So these four more weeks to finish the missions, we don't actually know if we will be able to buy stars during this time, or if it's just going to be a time area for us to finish missions. If we're still able to buy stars, then that's going to still kind of mess with the quantities and keep some of these skins at their equalized prices that they're currently at. But if we aren't able to buy stars in this extended period of the operation for us to finish missions, then the prices of these operation skins could see some sort of a value increase in that time. However, of course, after this four week period, we are going to see some absolutely crazy things with prices. The supply bottleneck is going to hit hard and we're going to see a very large increase in prices. Keep in mind that a lot of these skins that I've talked about are pretty heavily invested. So a lot of people probably will be selling out those skins to get their profit and then they're not going to look back, which means that the prices could fluctuate a bit and become pretty volatile as the skins rise in price. But in the end, I think they are going to be at higher prices than they're currently at. I really do not see any reason why they're going to decrease. This isn't really referencing any specific skin in general, but it is kind of towards the Operation Collections, specifically the Norse, St. Mark, and Canals Collection, because I don't think that the case skins are going to do anything crazy just because they're from a case, and naturally speaking, case skins don't really do anything crazy unless some sort of weird supply bottleneck happens, which is, you know, a little bit on edge right now, kind of hard to predict. I also wanted to go ahead and address one major thing with the Operation Shattered Web Investments, people saying that there are too many people invested into it, which is the reason why they're not going to rise. So the logic here is a little bit skewed, and there seems to be no good reason for the logic itself. It seems like a lot of new investors are coming in, seeing these skins that are being invested in heavily, and automatically thinking that because these skins are being invested heavily, that they're not going to rise in price. So allow me to explain a concept here that will probably change your mind. So when we come to skins that have a lot of people invested into them, such as the Desert Eagle Admiral Dormungunder, we do see one important factor. These skins that are being invested in are going into investors inventories. What that means is these people that are holding onto the skins are actually going to essentially remove them from the quantity pool. Technically, yes, they still do contribute to the quantity pool, but because the people who are buying them are investors, those people are going to want to make money, which means they're not going to sell the skins at a loss, and they're definitely not going to sell the skins when they're at too low of a price for them to make a decent profit that they want to turn. Furthermore, if the skins do have a nice skyrocket in price, which is absolutely possible, the investors are obviously not going to sell out and are going to wait for the skin to rise more in price before they decide to go ahead and sell. Furthermore, at most, these skins that people are investing in are only going to do one major thing with the large quantity of investments that are happening for them, and that's just going to be a volatility. So if people are selling the investments at different price points, 
when the skins do rise in price, then all that's going to happen is the skin is going to become volatile, where it will rise in price, equalize or lower, and then continue to rise in price. So in the end, even if there are a lot of people that are actually invested into these skins, it's not going to really matter overall because the people who are holding on to them for the longer period of time, the people who are really truly interested in making a good profit off of them, are not going to sell them at low values and are not going to decrease the skin price overall. You do of course have to worry about some temporary factors such as panic selling, but that is of course a temporary factor and it is something that gets priced out pretty quickly. If you do disagree with me on this point, that's absolutely fine. Everybody has their own opinions. I'm simply basing this off of what investors' mindsets are currently keyed on, and I'm also basing this off of what we've seen in the past with similar operation investments and similar investments in general. But if you do want to disagree with me and want to have a civil discussion, feel free to join the Discord server below or go ahead and leave me a comment on this video. I'm not going to respond to people that are being mean or telling me that I'm simply wrong with no actual backing. So make sure that if you do want to have a discussion on this and you do absolutely think that I'm wrong, that you leave me a civil comment and we'll have a much more productive discussion overall. So with that being said, that about sums up everything with this current operation investments and it's going to go ahead and move us on to the overall market health, which I want to go ahead and analyze now. I do want to say one thing about the Chattered Web Operations is that the supply bottleneck does of course happen after the operation is officially ended. I have had some people claim that there could be another operation shortly after this one, but if you go ahead and look at the graph of all operations, that looks pretty unlikely. They've only been extending the time in between them. I know that CSGO has gained a lot of players during this operation time, but that's not really a good enough factor for Valve to be able to put their development into overdrive and make some new operations. I think at minimum we're going to see a new operation in probably about a year, could be a little bit sooner than that, but the development process that goes into operations and also the amount of time that the Valve has to wait for hype to build up is going to cause the operations to be pushed back quite a bit, maybe even longer than the one we had to wait for for Shattered Web. So I don't think that seeing a new operation soon is feasible at all, but yeah, it could happen. Of course, Valve is pretty crazy and odd, and they're pretty unpredictable at times. Anyway, with that overall note aside, I do want to move on to the overall market health. This is unrelated to Shadow Rub Investments, just the market in general. I do want to say that the market is doing absolutely incredible. Skin prices are higher than we've ever seen before. Trade-ups are actually becoming priced out because of how many people are doing them. It's just overall a very good market to buy into right now, a very solid one that is also very healthy. This could be due to a lot of factors. Some people have speculated that it's because of the coronavirus actually pushing a lot of those Chinese investors with a lot of money back into their homes to play more video games, which in turn causes them to buy more CSGO skins. I don't really know exactly what the reason is. No one can fully tell for sure, but we do know that CSGO player counts have risen a lot recently, which means that a much larger portion of people have gotten into both investing and trading, which therefore makes the market rise, of course. But on a scale of 1 to 10 of how good the market is doing overall, I would say a definite 9 or 10 right now. The market is doing absolutely amazing. All skins are just rising like crazy. Skins have come to prices that we've never seen before. Knives, especially butterfly knives, are doing absolutely incredible and are only continuing to skyrocket. This is due to a lot of things, including the supply bottlenecks that I've talked about before, but it is also, of course, due in part to the large amount of CSGO players that are now playing. Obviously, with a higher CSGO player count, not everybody is going to be introduced to skins and the market in general, but a significant portion of people are, and that's what's going to cause such a large market increase, and probably is one of the main major causes for the current market increase that we've been seeing. So if you're a brand new investor to the scene or a brand new trader, I would absolutely say to get in now. The market's just going up like crazy. It's only going to make you money if you'd even just buy some regular skins that aren't necessarily even good investments. But make sure you do stay away from really high demand skins because those high demand skins that a lot of people are using for their play skins are ones that don't move very much. This includes stuff like the UMP Primal Saber and the Op Hyper Beast, two very, very popular skins that are used in those loadouts and don't move very much in the market just because they are play skins that people kind of buy and don't really care about in the future. Now on to another part of the market that we haven't really talked about too much, but I think it is important to mention, and that's going to be the blue trade-up inputs. So recently there's been a lot of people doing trade-ups for the purples from the new collections this includes the Augmentite Lily, for example, the Glock Synth Leaf, the Emerald Dromengunder, of course, which is one of the most popular ones, and all of these blue inputs, of course, have risen from the collections, but one of the sort of unsung heroes is actually the blue fodder inputs. So this includes stuff like the MP7 Anonized Navy, the 5.7 Silver Quartz, the Desert Eagle Meteorite. All of these skins have seen significant increases in prices because they've been used as fodder to try and trade up and give people better odds, better profit margins. But one major thing, I think, is that this was sort of an unpredictable rise in price. Obviously, there were a lot of people doing these trade-ups, but it was kind of hard to tell that these skins themselves were actually going to rise in price, mainly due to the fact that they're not something that usually would rise in price. They're just trade-up fodder, and for people that are actively doing trade-ups, they are going to rise in price 
Clearly though, we were a little bit wrong about how significant they actually are, and so many people use them that their prices have just skyrocketed. The MP7 Adonized Navy, for example, has risen almost 45 cents, and the Desert Eagle Meteorite has risen like 90 cents even, which is absolutely crazy. These were something that you could buy in bulk if you were able to predict something like this happening, and if you did, you could make quite a lot of money. One other pretty cool thing about them is that they are cheap, which means that a lot of those investors that don't have too much to spend could of course buy something like this. I would say though at this point they are kind of in that area where I would consider them equalized. They are at such high prices now that they are kind of making it a little bit of an unprofitable endeavor to do the trade-ups themselves, which of course discourages people from buying these inputs. Clearly there is a little bit of room to still move on them, but I think if they ever reach around the $2 range for the minimum value of the inputs, it is going to be an unprofitable endeavor. And the final point in this video, I do want to address some of the older investments such as the Fire Serpent or the SG Ultraviolet. We did see some of these rise in price quite significantly briefly, but then drop back down. They're still sort of in this weird equalization phase and they're in kind of a weird area for you to invest in. I would say that if you want to go ahead and get on these old skins and maybe buy a couple of them, just look towards stuff like the SG Ultraviolet if you're a little bit cheaper, or if you have more to spend, the Op Lightning Strike or the AK-47 Fire Serpent. I think the Lightning Strike was going to do well at the end of last year. The problem was they went ahead and released that operation, which shifted everybody's focus away from it and to the new skins, which obviously caused the Op to not perform as expected. However, I think if the operation never happened and the Op was to regularly go on its own market ventures, it would be pretty significant as a rise in price. One of the main problems, especially for the Op Lightning Strike, was that the the Valve operation that came out actually released two new covert ops, two very high tier ops, so a lot of people that may have been thinking about using the Op Lightning Strike as their play skin may have shifted towards those instead, even though they are quite higher priced. With that being said, I still think the Op Lightning Strike is going to be a good investment, especially when this operation ends, people can shift their focus back to something like it, so I think it's still going to rise in price quite significantly, and it probably would have if the operation didn't come out at all. Obviously something we really couldn't forecast at all because of how much time was in between these operations and because this was kind of an unpredictable aspect overall anyway. To quickly sum up this video, we do have a very healthy market right now that you definitely should invest in with a 9 to 10 rating on the scale. This is a very healthy market, we have a lot of potential with all these new players and new investors and traders that are going to get into the scene and become more smart with it. Also there's still time for you to invest in these operations before the absolute crazy supply bottleneck happens. I do think there is going to be large increases in prices. I don't mean to hype it up too much, but it is something that is probably going to happen. One more important thing to address is of course the collection fodder for the new Operation Shadow Rub investment trade-ups, and that's going to include the 5.7 Silver Quartz, MP7 Adonized Navy, and of course the Desert Eagle Meteorite. These are all still things that I say could have a little bit more room to grow in price, so that is something that you could look into if you're one of those cheaper investors. Finally, of course, we do have some of those older skins making a little bit of price changes, including the Fire Serpent and the SG Ultraviolet. So if you want to look at some of those older skins for investments and you aren't too interested in this new modern investing with the Shadow Rub operation, be sure to go check out some of those older skins. But that's about the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave me a like and tell me that you want to see more Market Watch episodes in the future. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to have more updated market information whenever it comes out and be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be updated on all future uploads before anybody else. We also have an absolutely glorious discord server that you can join in the description below and make sure to follow my twitter at Nalo Video. With that being said, I thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to come watch this video with me. I'll see you all next time. Peace.